Lecture 5.1, Estimating with Finite Sums. This is a view of the Roundhouse in Greenfield Village, Michigan. Greenfield Village was founded by industrialist Henry Ford, who, as a hobby, collected historical buildings. So this Roundhouse, as well as many other buildings, including the Wright Brothers Bicycle Shop, were moved to Greenfield Village. Consider an object moving at a constant rate of 3 feet per second. Since rate times time equals distance, 3t equals d. If we draw a graph of the velocity, the distance that the object travels is equal to the area under the line. After 4 seconds, the object has gone 12 feet. 3 feet per second times 4 seconds equals 12 feet. So the units work out. If the velocity is not constant, we might guess that the distance traveled is still equal to the area under the curve. The units work out. Example, v equals 1 8th t squared plus 1. We could estimate the area under the curve by drawing rectangles touching at their left corners. This is called the left-hand rectangular approximation method, or LRAM, in our book. We make a table of T and V and choose T values to the left of each rectangle. At T is 0, V is 1, so we draw a rectangle with a height of 1. At T is 1, V is 1 and 1 eighth. At T is 2, V is 1 and 1 half. And at T is 3, V is 2 and 1 eighth. So we can approximate the area by adding up the rectangles. And we get an approximate area of 1 plus 1 and 1 eighth plus 1 and 1 half, plus 2 and 1 eighth, or 5 and 3 fourths, which is a decimal, is 5.75. Now just looking at the picture, it looks like our estimate is too low because we're missing these sort of triangular shaped areas here, 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 and here. We could also use a right-hand rectangular approximation method, or RRAM. We draw new rectangles touching at the right-hand corner, and we notice that the heights are different, but we could approximate the area by adding up the rectangles. The approximate area is 1 and 1 eighth plus 1 and 1 half plus 2 and 1 eighth plus 3, which is 7 and 3 fourths, or as a decimal, 7.75. Now looking at this picture, we see that our estimate is too high because we have these extra areas here, 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 and here. There is something else we could try. Another approach would be to use rectangles that touch at the midpoint. This is the midpoint rectangular approximation method, or MRAM. So we choose values of T at the middle of each rectangle. So we'll choose T equals 0.5, which is right here in the middle of the first rectangle and we plug that into the equation and get V is approximately equal to 1.03125, actually exactly equal to. 
The next midpoint is at 1.5, and we get a value for V. We have a midpoint at 2.5, and we get the height of that rectangle by plugging 2.5 into the equation. And finally, the last midpoint is 3.5 for a height of 2.53125. Now we can approximate the area by adding up the rectangles, and we get an approximate area of 6.625 by adding up the rectangles. Now this estimate looks like it might be closer but still probably not exactly the same because, or exactly correct, because as we look at each rectangle, we see that the amount that's extra is not quite the same as the amount that's missing. In this example, there are four subintervals. As the number of subintervals increases, so does the accuracy. With eight subintervals, we'd have midpoints in the middle of smaller rectangles. So at 0.25, we get a height of 1.00781. And we continue filling out our table and drawing our rectangles. So we can add up all the V values and get 13.31248 times 0.5, which is the width of the subinterval, and we get 6.65624 as the approximate area. Now, this is a little more accurate because it looks like, just eyeballing it, that the difference between the extra and the amount missing is smaller. The more rectangles, the better approximation. By the way, the exact answer for this problem is 6.6 .6 repeating, or 6 and 2 thirds. Little vocabulary. Inscribed rectangles are all below the curve. Our book does not use this term, but the AP exam does, so you should be aware of it. Circumscribed rectangles are all above the curve, like this. We will be learning how to find the exact area under a curve if we have the equation for the curve. Rectangular approximation methods are still useful for finding the area under a curve if we do not have the equation.